and welcome back to story time with Auntie Jo. That's me. Today I'm going to tell a story from Stories to Share. And today we're starting with our first story in this book called Poor Humphrey by Jan Payne. Enjoy! Humphrey was a baby rhino and he wasn't at all happy. He had a knobbly thing on his face instead of a spike. He didn't like it one bit. So Humphrey refused to go out unless he was wearing a cardboard box to cover it. How can I wash behind your ears, you silly thing? Mom would laugh when she tried to give him a bath. And if he got a cold and tried to blow his nose, well, you've never seen such a mess. One day, Humphrey was fed up staying indoors. He just had to go outside. He stumbled along trying to look at things through the holes in his box. He saw a lizard on a rock. He sniffed a red flower on a bush. He watched an army of ants carrying things on their backs. Suddenly, Humphrey heard giggling. He felt a tug at his box. Oi! he shouted. Give that back, monkey! <laughs> Humphrey was cross. He put the box back on his head. See? The monkey tried to take it off his head. Then he heard singing and laughing. It instantly cheered him up. Into the clearing came a group of baby rhinos. And guess what? They were all wearing cardboard boxes on their heads, just like Humphrey. They stopped when they saw him and asked him to play with them. Humphrey stayed in the clearing all afternoon, playing games, singing songs, and telling rhino jokes. One day, not long after, Humphrey put on his best box to go out. When he did this, it ripped right down the front. He felt the front of his face. There was something there, something sharp. He went to the water's edge and looked at his reflection. Whoa! There it was, plain as the nose on your face. The knobbly thing had gone and Humphrey had a beautiful pointy spike. From now on, my name is Spike, said Humphrey proudly. And off he went without his box to meet his new friends. And do you know what? They weren't wearing boxes anymore either. The end. So children, when you are young, you may not like how you look, certain things about you, but God created you just the way you are. You are beautiful. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Join me again next time. Bye-bye.